गुड आफ्टरनून चिल्ड्रेन आर टॉपिक फॉर टुडे इज कंस्ट्रक्शन लेट्स वर्क आउट थर्टीन फ्रॉम देर आई एम टेकिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री फॉर यू सिंस दिस क्वेश्चन लुक्ड अ बिट डिफिकल्ट फॉर यू टू डू दैट इज आई एम डूइंग इट फॉर यू ओके वी ड्रॉ अ ट्राइंगल इन विच ए बी इक्वल टू सिक्स सेंटीमीटर बी सी इक्वल टू नाइन सेंटीमीटर एंगल ए बी सी इक्वल टू फिफ्टी फाइव डिग्रीज लेट अस ड्रॉ अ पैरालोग्राम इक्वल इन एरिया टू दैट ट्राइंगल हैविंग एन एंगल सिक्सटी डिग्री एंड Length of one side is half of AC. Now over here you can see the question looks quite normal because you are given a triangle over here with its sides and one of the angles. Okay, so by using these things you have to first make the triangle. Okay, after making the triangle you will have to make a parallelogram equal in area to that triangle. But then when you are making the parallelogram you are given the angle of the parallelogram. But one more thing is given to you: length of one side is half. of ac now the whole uh, point of the diagram depends on this line okay so why is this line important as i draw the diagram you will come to know okay now see for making the triangle i will have to draw ab bc and angle abc first so that is why i've drawn ab by measuring with a ruler bc the line segments that are given i have already drawn over here you have to do it in this way okay you'll have to draw ab and bc like this whatever is given you'll have to make it first right and angle abc equal to 55 degree i made it over here with the help of a protractor okay i have used my protractor to make 55 degrees done after that i'll use these three things to make my triangle now see i will draw a baseline over here okay now after drawing the baseline i will make my triangle abc now in triangle abc it is given that angle abc equal to 55 degrees this angle abc equal to 55 degrees this angle should come over here it should be 55 degrees here correct now for that this side as you can see is ab and according to my measurements av must be 6 cm so this line should be 6 cm and this is bc and bc should be 9 cm so this line should be bc this should be 6 cm this should be 9 cm for my convenience i have written over here 6 and 9 okay now for starting to make the diagram what i will do is i'll first draw my baseline any line of any length over here leaving ample space over here i drew my baseline over here okay after that i know that the baseline should be 9 cm so taking my compass i will measure 9 cm like this okay and then go to my diagram and place a cut of 9 cm over here done after that i know that this length this length should be 6 cm correct this length should be 6 cm so taking my compass again i will measure my 6 cm line and then place a cut here clear okay this way my 6 cm and 9 cm lines are ready now while making this 6 cm cut what i'll do is i'll first make the arc after that my this corner should be 55 degrees isn't it for that what did i do i took my compass okay and placed my compass take my compass and take any size i've taken this size okay then cut an arc in this angle that you have made take your compass don't change the side cut an arc here okay after that i'll take the measurement from here now from here i place my compass here and place a cut this side cut it this way i got my 55 degree angle so i'll take my ruler and join this line here finished okay after that i got ab and bc now while joining ab you will first take the ruler join this point and this point and then extend it up to the arc wherever it meets the arc okay extend it up to the arc done this way you got your ab now after that you take a ruler and join a and c to get the line ac completed this way you got your triangle abc okay after that comes the second part now after making the triangle you know the second part involves bisecting the base of the triangle but here we have to be careful because our question says the length of one side of the parallelogram is half of ac 
the length of one side should be half of AC. Usually, we take half of the base of the triangle, isn't it? But in this question, we are asked to take half of base, half of not the base, but AC. Correct? That is why instead of bisecting BC, I don't need half of BC. I need half of AC. That is why instead of bisecting BC, in this particular diagram, I am going to bisect AC because I need half of AC. Got it? Okay. Now for bisecting AC, what I will do is, I will just rotate and keep my copy in such a way that my AC looks like the base. After that, you bisect AC. Now AC is bisected by taking a little bit more than half of this line and then placing cuts on top and bottom and again from this side placing cuts on top and bottom. You know the process isn't it after that. By joining the cuts on top and bottom you get the bisecting line over here. Clear? Okay. Now once your AC is bisected now you know that there should be a parallel line running parallel to the base okay over here on top there should be a line that runs parallel to the base or parallel to the line that you have just bisected isn't it that means you need a parallel line this side correct so for that again i'll follow my same process of getting my parallel line now remember that whenever you are asked to make a line parallel to any line remember that you will imagine a parallelogram here okay you will imagine a parallelogram and accordingly you will draw. Okay, so for that what I will do, I know the opposite side, sides of the parallelogram are equal. The opposite sides of the parallelogram are equal. If I make a parallelogram over here, then obviously its opposite sides will be parallel. You know that, correct? So just think of that and try to measure the sides of this imaginary parallelogram. Okay, if one side is this length, then from here its side will be somewhere here. So cut an arc. Clear? Similarly, measure the bottom one and then from here, cut an arc here. Cut it this way. When I join the line, I get a line parallel to AC over here. Simple enough? Okay. After getting the parallel line, now comes the important part. Now, according to your question, you can see you have to draw a parallelogram equal in area to the triangle and having an angle of 60 degree. This parallelogram should have an, one of the angles as 60 degree. So you need your 60 degree angle in the diagram, correct? So <clears throat> you know that angle always starts from the bisecting line, isn't it? From the bisecting point. From this point, we usually make an angle over here, right? But then in this particular diagram, since my diagram is facing towards the left, so my parallelogram will be formed this side. Remember, my parallelogram will be formed this side. Okay, that is why my angle should be facing towards the left. Got it? So for that purpose, when I make my 60 degree angle, I will not make it this side. I will make it on the left side. Okay, so for that, take any size of your compass to make your <coughs> 60 degree angle. So place your compass end on this point. And the bisecting point, correct? Take small size of your compass, then cut an arc. Got it? After that, don't change the size of your compass. Just place your compass end on the arc that you have got on the base. Okay? Place it on the baseline. Then make another cut. Finished? Okay. Now, from here to here is your 60 degree angle. So, what I will do is, I will join this point and this point. Got it? So, this way, I will join these two. And extend it up to the parallel line. Done? So see, according to the question, one side of the parallelogram should be half of AC. According to your question, it says that length of one side should be half of AC. Half of AC. So for that, you can see this is AC. This is half of AC, isn't it? So one side of the parallelogram is this half part of AC. It forms one side of the parallelogram. One side of the parallelogram is half of AC. This is clear. So obviously, the other side of the parallelogram should come here, right? There should be a parallelo 
parallel side here so that it forms a parallelogram clear so accordingly how will you get this line here for that what will you do you will use your compass and measure from here to here this should be the size of your one of the sides of your parallelogram so here this side and its opposite side should be equal isn't it this side and its opposite should be equal so by measuring from here to here i take this measurement and take my compass over here place it here and then place a cut on the top line i hope you can see that place a cut on the top line by measuring this length i take it here and place a cut on the top line got it after that my final step is to join this point and this point so i get a line parallel to one of the sides of the parallelogram so for that what i'll do i'll join these two points here see so this way i got my parallelogram whose one of the sides is half of the length of ac so this is my required parallelogram so how will i name it this was a b c you can name it anyway d e f so what is my required parallelogram my required parallelogram is you can name it from here d e f c correct okay so now let me write it down so what i will do over here i will write this is, the actual diagram looks like this okay we had rotated the page that's why it was looking different actually it looks like this now i'm going to write therefore d e f c is the required parallelogram equal in area to triangle abc correct 